Here is the field in the final of the men's 1500. Steve Cram of Great Britain, Peter Elliott of Great Britain, Han Kulker of Holland, the Netherlands, Peter Rono of Kenya, Marcus O'Sullivan of Ireland, Kip Kuech Cheriup of Kenya, Joseph Chesira of Kenya, Jens Peter Harold of East Germany, Steve Scott of the United States, Mario Silva of Portugal, Jeff Atkinson of the United States, and Omar Khalifa of the Sudan. Here is Steve Scott, number 11, 28, and then he shakes hands with Jeff Atkinson. Steve Cram of Great Britain, a disappointment in the 800, but he has run well in the preliminaries of the 1500. Number 650 is Joseph Chisira of Kenya, one of the three Kenyans in the race. The rumor all around the stadium is that he is going to be a rabbit, a pacemaker. He is going to go out very quickly, take the lead, the other two Kenyans to go with him as you look at the world and Olympic records and break the race over. Sidney Marie still holds, that's the 1500 record, remember? Because Steve Scott has the mile record. But that is the strategy that everybody has been talking about right now. We'll have to see if it unfolds that way. It's hard to have a strategy like that in the Olympic Games, though. And I, I wouldn't want to be the person whose coach came to him and said, would you be the rabbit in the Olympic final so that one of your teammates can win? Very difficult. There's Jeff Atkinson from the United States, ran very well in his semifinal. He's really come through in these games. He's a surprise. He may not medal here, but he's got a good future ahead of him. Graham, Elliott, Kulker, Rono, O'Sullivan, Cheria, Chisira, Harold, Scott, Silva, Atkinson, Khalifa. Steve Cream. And next to him is Peter Elliott. They are the two from Great Britain. In a lot of respects, the gold is up for grabs. Half of the field could win it. It is, because Steve Cram, were he 100% coming in here, would be the odds-on favorite. But he has been slightly injured, didn't do well in the 800, so I think at the rest of the field thinks he's vulnerable. And Steve Scott is running as well as he ever yeah. has. He really is. And he looked very good in the semifinal. He seems relaxed. And what he said is, I'm treating this like a race in Zurich or a race on the European circuit. I'm just going to try to win it. I think he'll take the gold. I think it's going to be real close. I think he's got a shot. If he ever had a chance, it's right here. There's no wind in the stadium. A little bit smoggy today that we mentioned. It is warm, the temperature in the upper 70s, low 80s. As the Olympic flame continues to burn. One more day to go after today. Graham starts out as if he wants to take the lead. And it is Marcus O'Sullivan, and Scott's going with him. Here comes Omar Khalifa from the outside. And the Kenyans are all in the back, so they're not going to lead. So at least we know that their strategy was not to take it from the gun. That strategy goes right out the window. Steve Scott is running in fifth place just off of the shoulder of Jeff Atkinson. No, Atkinson is running behind him. He is running off the shoulder of Hans Kulker of Holland. So it is Marcus O'Sullivan setting the early place, pace with Omar Khalifa going with it. Then it's Steve Cram, Peter Elliott, and Hans Kulker. Steve Scott is right, I think, about where he wants to be. That's usually where you see Steve Scott in a mile or 1,500 meters. Sixth place, fifth place, not on the pole, so he's boxed, but in the outside of lane number one, so he doesn't have to run far around the curves, positioned so that he can move whenever anything happens, either from behind or ahead of him. Then behind him. Scott is Jens Peter Harold, and behind him is Mario Silva of Portugal, and then we come to the three Kenyans, and in between is Jeff Atkinson, Peter Rono, Chariot, and Chisira, so the three Kenyans have covered three of the four places, and now Peter Rono starts to make a move up on the outside as he goes past Atkinson, and I think just wants to pick up the pace a bit. I, he may go to the lead. 60 seconds for the first 400 meters. So it's not going to be a record, a world record race. You may still get close to the Olympic record, but they're slowing down. I think we now have a tactical race. With two laps to go, it is Peter Rono, Omar Khalifa, and Peter Elliott all right there. And Rono is 
picks up the pace. Elliott has gone with him. Then it's Khalifa and Cram. But the pace is not that fast. About two minutes for 800 meters, which means it was slowing down, which is why Rona wanted to take the lead. You can see everyone's just positioning. Here goes Jeff Atkinson. Atkinson on the outside, and he now goes for the lead. Stops behind Rono, and then is Chisera, Cram, Elliott, and on the outside is Steve Scott. He's in the perfect position, and Atkinson is running well. And we're coming up to the bell lap. Khalifa has dropped back. Steve Scott getting jostled, getting boxed in a little bit, but it's still early in the last lap. He's not out of it yet. Now the sprint is starting. And it's Peter Rono with Atkinson off of his shoulder. It's anyone's race right here. Absolutely anyone's race. Elliott is inside. Here comes Cram. Fader is on the inside. Cram Fader looks good on the outside. Steve Scott still in it. Atkinson is out of it. He's dropping all the way back. Scott is still in it. It is Rono leading. But Steve Scott is a little bit boxed. He's got someone on his outside. He better get free. Elliott is second. Cram is third. Jens Fader Hill. Now the sprint has really started. And here comes the kick down the final straight. Yes, Peter Hill on the inside, Elliott outside, and then Graham Scott is not going to medal. Can Rono hang on? He does. Elliott, and then Yens Peter Hill and Steve Graham. Steve Scott finishes fifth. Atkinson running up front, setting the pace, and then he dropped back into the field. Peter Rono, the third man on this Kenyan team. He didn't win a, a first round, didn't win a semifinal, just came through a won the final, surprised everyone in this race. There are four, but three medals to be given. We believe that Steve Graham finished fourth. He will not medal. He was one of the favorites. Here are the official results in the women's 1500. Pala Ivan's winning time, 353.96, an Olympic record. Mary Decker Slaney finished in eighth place, 402.49, and Kim Gallagher finished in 11th. Celebration continues here. Peter Rono. Let's go down to Dave Sims, eh? Steve, tell us what happened coming down the back stretch. There. Well, from the start of the race, I didn't feel the, the comfort and ease that I felt yesterday. I, I was trying to relax as much as possible, and, but on the back stretch, I didn't have that zip. And I uh, tried to hang in there the best I could. Tried to really drive down the home stretch, but when it ain't there, it ain't there. Okay, Steve, thank you. With Peter Rono's victory here, the Kenyans have now won the 800. That was Paul Herring, the 3,000 steeple, Julius Karyuki, and the 1,500 Peter Rono. His time, 3.35.96. And we'll be back with the 5,000 plus four relays after these messages from your local station. 